Hey, Miles Pritchard with Jamsurf here. Today I have in front of me the X Scrub Pro electric mop. I want to go over with you guys how to properly operate and maintain this machine. So, first you have a control panel here with four different switches. First is your main power switch that completely turns the machine on and allows you to operate these, these switches here. You have complete control of your water, adjust, uh, water dial here depending on how soiled your floors are. Um, you might want to you might want to have it turned up all the way down or all the way up. Uh, that's your call. So as you can see here, we got a max flow, and you cut it down from there to put them on depending on what you want to work with. Um, the second switch is your brushes. Uh, you got complete control speed from 100 RPMs up to 325 RPMs. The brushes are engaged by the levers here. So that's as slow as the brushes will go, and you got every RPM all the way up to 325 in between. And that is maxed out. Uh, the third switch, or should I say the fourth, um, is going to be your vacuum. This will remove 99% of the water left behind the brushes after the solution is dispensed on the floor behind the machine, leaving the floor almost completely dry, and this is a slip and fall hazard associated with common workplace injuries. Okay, um, right here you have your solution tank. It holds 1.3 gallons of solution. You have your fill cap right here. Um, it, it is designed uh, to be on the side so you can slide it up under a sink and fill it up. Um, on the back side, Have, you have your recovery tank. A recovery tank can be dumped in two ways. One way is you can undo this wing nut. And remove it. And dump it through the cap. And the second, which is the most convenient, with the discharge hose. And this hose can be used to dump outside or in a janitor's, janitor's sink. Storage positions. You have your transport. This allows the machine to be maneuvered up and down hallways anywhere it needs to go. The machine is very light and weighs 55 pounds. The other is stand, the standby position. And that's if you're working on a job, you got called up to do something, you're not done, you're not finished, it can sit like this till you're ready to continue. So this is your battery. It's a 36 volt lithium ion battery. You get a one hour runtime on this machine about an hour to recharge. So, I'm going to go through and do a quick demo for you guys. So we want to turn the machine on, and then from there, we we'll turn our water where we want it, we we'll turn our brush speed where we want it, Cut our vacuum on and we'll engage the levers. The machine is completely 360 degrees. You can cover 10 square feet without moving your feet. Without moving your feet. Lights get up around corners and tight spaces, underneath stalls, underneath sinks. It's a very maneuverable machine when you compare it to an office truck. When you're done and you're ready to move to the next position, to roll it back to its storage, put it in its transport position, and you're ready to go. A few maintenance things. After every clean, you want to make sure you take a rag, a paper towel, and you want to run it in between the squeegees here to make sure that you remove it, all of the soil. And if you don't, you'll get streaking and you will not get 100 or 99% water pickup. 
Um, second, brushes are completely removable. They are magnetic. And you want to make sure that your brushes are free, free and clear from any debris that might be in them. And while we're talking about the brushes, we do have three different options. Your standard brush that the machine comes with are these black. They're good for every, every floor, every surface. They're a good medium duty brush. If you have a polish or a high gloss floor with wax on it, you can, use the, you can use the black, but if you want to bring out an extra shine, you can purchase these brushes, which are the red soft bristle brushes. Now, if you're looking to restore a floor, clean grouted tile, clean a bathroom, work on concrete, we even work on OBT flooring, you have, you have a restoration brush. It's 120 grit. It allows it to get down and really get down into the pores of the, of the surface of the floor. Back to the squeegee. So general maintenance, after you clean this, eventually you're going to need to do a deeper, more thorough clean on the squeegee just to make sure that the life of the squeegee you get as much life out of it as possible. And by the way, these squeegees are reversible. So when the edges of these squeegees wear out, you can take this, flip it around, and you got brand new edges. So it's almost like two for one with the squeegees. But back to removing it. So if you need to clean it, you got a lot of junk, pull these pins, squeegee comes right out, and all you do is you disconnect it from the recovery hose. When you've cleaned it, put it back in, pop it into the groove slots, take your pins, pop them back in, hold the squeegee in place. One last thing I want to show you guys on cleaning. It's good practice every now and then if you use the machine every day, I'd say at least once a month, you want to remove your recovery tank. Oh, by the way, always make sure this is cleaned out after every use. It'll get stinking. Um, the you've got two, you've got two holes here. This one's to pressurize the tank, and this is the exit hole that comes up from the squeegee. It's the right hole when you're looking at the two holes. Every now and then, you want to take a water hose or some form of somewhat pressurized water, run it through there to clean out the hose and it'll discharge out the end of the squeegee. That's to keep the hoses from getting clogged. And that's like I said, if you're doing it every day, once a month should be fine to keep you guys, keep you guys up and going. So, I hope this video was very informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, you can reach me at 601-316-4477 or email me at miles at tamserv.com and that's M-I-L-E-S at T-A-M-S-E-R-V.com. Thank you.